This boat, an 165-pound novice division, will box three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, boxing out of the Blue Corner, and he represents the Big Pond PAL. If you welcome, please, Andrew Amaral. And across the ring, to my left, he's boxing out of the red corner. And he represents Taunton Boxing. A big welcome, please, for David Akupiti. He will box three, two-minute round. We welcome you to AnySportsTV.com. Peter Zimbor and Sean Farley ringside at the Brockton Fairgrounds where we are about to get our first official amateur bout underway. It's between Andrew Amaral out of Cape Cod Police Athletic Union taking on David Ochi Pinti out of Taunton Boxing. Ochi Pinti wearing the red trunks and the red headgear. Amaral wearing the black trunks with the black headgear. Sean, you've been a fixture on the amateur scene for a few years. What can you tell us about these two fighters and their camps respectively? Well, right off the bat, Pete, the first thing I can tell you about uh, David is he's out of Taunton Boxing, and he's got uh, a fellow by the name of Chick Rose in his corner. Chick has been involved in boxing. He actually runs the, uh, the official to get certified. He's an official that get, runs a class that gets all of us coaches certified by USA Boxing, one of. And um, Andrew's out of Cape Cod Boxing. I see Bob Cananzi over in his corner. And... Uh, Right off the bat, I can see that Andrew here is a southpaw. He's been able to score with some clean left hands early off. Both guys are green. They're being offensive. Not really remember their defense. A little squared off. Well, it looks like it has the makings for a fun bout, though, Pete. Yeah, we should mention this is amateur boxing, so three two-minute rounds. These are novice fighters. Amateur boxing not scored quite like professional boxing where you're looking to see who's damaging the other fighter more. In amateur boxing, you're strictly counting punches. Who's landing more clean or effective punches on the other fighter? And what is deemed a clean and effective punch is a clean landing blow with the white portion of the glove right across the knuckle. So we're in round one of a scheduled three-rounder here at the Brockton Fairgrounds in the City of Champions, Brockton, Massachusetts. Once again, Peter Zimbor and Sean Farley our ringside and a very spirited opening round of this three round affair thus far. Both fighters just going for it offensively as you said. Absolutely Pete, right now they're both offensive minded. One thing that I think is going to be very telling, uh, especially with novice fighters that set a fast pace, is who's going to be the better conditioned fighter. And coming to you from the Brockton Fairgrounds, Brockton, Massachusetts, of course known as the City of Champions. It got that nickname for being the hometown to former heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano in the 1950s, the only heavyweight champion in boxing history to retire undefeated. And who could forget the former undisputed middleweight champion of the 1980s, a staple of the pound for pound list in that decade, marvelous Marvin Hagler. Brockton, Massachusetts, his hometown as well. So a great atmosphere here on a Sunday evening at the Brockton Fairgrounds. Round two. For some Brockton amateur boxing. Our first fight, David Ochipinti and Andrew Amaral. Yeah, Pete, one thing that should tell halfway through the second normally in these novice bouts is conditioning. Good action here, David pushing him backwards, being the aggressor. Exchange, I would have to say, is somewhat even. Now Andrew Adamall has gone to, is back to conventional. He started to fight as a southpaw, he just switched to conventional. Now he's back to, out of a southpaw stance. One thing I like to see people at the novice level, at any level, but it's more, it's more, uh, it's more common at the novice level to see the guys neglect the body. You see how they're both kind of square? Right there, right as I speak of the devil, he goes to the body. But as they, when they're square like that, you can find the body. 
Andrew Amaral landing some clean shots here in round number two as he snapped back the head of Ochi Pinti once or twice in the round. But one thing you gotta remember in amateur boxing when you're counting punches is that a punch that snaps back the head, or even a punch that scores a knockdown, just as effective as a crisp jab or a body shot. Right, absolutely. And the amateurs, you know, a big power right hand or a big powerful left hook is no more than just a clean jab. And like you said, even a knockdown, it's just one point. So it's really who's putting their hands in action more and landing clean, clean effective blows, not necessarily power blows. You see the white on both guys' gloves, Pete? That's the criteria to amateur boxing is to be putting the white of that glove on target. As we saw a nice left hand from Amaral sneak and hit David in the face. Round two comes to a conclusion. One more round to go and there is some blood trickling out of the nose of Andrew Amaral as he heads to his corner. Once again, you're watching AnySportsTV.com. Peter Zimbor and Sean Farley ringside. Sean, this Brockton Fair show has been going on for a few years. It's become a staple in the New England amateur boxing circuit as an annual event. It has, actually. I've had a few of my amateurs over the years fight down here, and it's always a fun, fun show. It's got great atmosphere, just a festive atmosphere, and uh, they normally, the Capiellos normally do an excellent job of putting together quality bouts. But it's been around, I'd say, around roughly four or five years they've been doing it steady and it's become a fixture on the summertime amateur fight show and it's always a lot of fun Pete. If you like cars smashing into each other tonight there's the demolition derby here at the fairgrounds if you like people's fists smashing into each other right now we've got amateur boxing in the ring here under the canopy of the Brockton fairgrounds crowd really getting behind each of these fighters respectively here in the third and final round. 165 pound division, these are novices. 165 pound division has produced some excellent fighters out of New England in recent years, most notably Edwin Rodriguez who has turned out to be quite an accomplished professional fighter. He had a very good amateur career fighting at this weight division. Absolutely Pete, you know in the last decade or so New England boxing in general has become one of the stronger regions in the entire country and um, yeah Edwin Rodriguez at, at, at points in his career was number one, in, number one in America at 165. He was also nationally rated and won a national title at 78. Had to move up and wait when he I believe missed a qualifier for the 165 pound division, but nevertheless had success at a higher weight division as well. These two fighters in front of us, Amaral and David Ochipinti, just wailing on each other here in the third and final round. This is a very competitive, evenly fought contest, and it's one of those fights that you see in amateur boxing where you think to yourself, how can these judges possibly keep track of the amount of punches they're throwing at one another? Well, that's one job that's very tough for the judges, Pete because they have to watch four hands with two eyes and they have clickers in each hand for each fighter and it's an extremely hard job to do. Right now I believe that Andrew Amarillo is starting to pull away a little bit. It's not a round by round basis, it's overall points and I think Andrew is finding him a lot with the left hand both upstairs and downstairs. Glad to see him go to the body. Well Amarillo cracks David with a left hand as the final bell sounds. So after three rounds of boxing, we will head to the scorecards of our opening bout of the evening between David Ochipinti and Andrew Amaral here on NESportsTV.com. Well, our ring announcer, Pitt Perrin, has the official verdict, so we go to him for the winner of this decision. What did I say for these two guys that had opening bout? 
Good job, boys. In a close, exciting first bout, we do have a winner. And that winner comes from the Rick Connor. Well, Ton Boxing's David Achi Pinty wins a decision over Andrew Amaral. And our opening bout of the evening here at the Brockton Fairgrounds. So, Ochi Pinti prevails in our opening fight here on AnySportsTV.com. From our broadcast partner, Sean Farley, I'm Peter Zimbor. Stick around here on AnySportsTV.com. Much more boxing action left to come.